What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Breezy. Show my shot because it's too easy now. Look, um, Lakers versus Sacramento, and I'm going for the Lakers. And it's really just for one person, bro. I do not care about LeBron at all. I think LeBron's not the GOAT. I think Jordan's better. But that has nothing to do with what I'm saying. Um, I'm rooting for the Lakers because of Anthony Davis. I'm so tired of people. And I've seen everybody saying recently after the first game of the season, oh, Anthony Davis has one bad game. And has one good game and can't have two good games. And like, stop hating, bro. I feel so. Give me that. This is what I'm talking about. He's the best power forward of all time. Yeah, bro, I'm bro, I'm telling you. I feel so bad for Anthony Davis. Y'all just take him for granted. Okay, he did get cut right there. I'm not going to lie. He did get cut right there. But y'all just take for granted what he does, bro. How do you, first off, make this make sense. Last year, he averaged 27 points and 12 rebounds. And he carried the Lakers to the playoffs. Y'all act like LeBron did that. That was eight. AD, bro, I'm trying to defend you, bro. Please just, at least while I'm trying to defend you, just don't make any bad plays, dude. But, but like I was saying, um, AD got the Lakers in the playoffs, not LeBron. LeBron was hurt. When when AD carried this, this team to the playoffs, when AD was averaging 30 and 15 every game, that was him. That was him being the most dominant big man in Lakers history. Over that stretch. Yeah, I said it. I don't care. I said it. And I say it again. Y'all just take for it. Y'all just take for granted what AD does, bro. And I feel like I feel like it's just cause the Lakers fans. I really feel like it's the Lakers fans. Like all of y'all just annoying, bro. Not all the Lakers fans, but the ones who take for granted AD, like the ones who disrespect AD for no reason. Anthony Davis is averaging 27 and 12 in LA. And what did he average in the Pelicans? Like 28 and 12, right? So he's basically averaging the same stats. On the Pelicans, he was the next, you know what I'm saying? He was the next face of the league. On the Lakers, he's a every other play AD. He's every other game AD or whatever y'all call it. Day-to-day -day Davis. Like, come on, bro. Y'all gonna put some respect on Anthony Davis's name. Consider he's better than LeBron. Like, y'all don't understand. I feel like people would just get so lost by the numbers. Talking about, well, LeBron's still averaging 30. Dude, LeBron's a averaged 30 last year. Not because he's still LeBron. Yeah, LeBron averaged 30. Does that mean he's better than Miami Heat LeBron? Because Miami Heat LeBron only averaged 27. No. LeBron got a fake 30. Bradley Beal averaged 32. Back in the day, back in 2021, 2020, Bradley Beal was averaging 30. He was never an MVP candidate. The team was still in last place. That's what LeBron was. LeBron had the little fake 30 points. He had the little he had the little ball hog bad team 30 points. His 30 points didn't mean anything, bro. He had no defense. He wasn't putting the players in position to win. It was AD who did all of that last year. When LeBron went out, when LeBron went out, it was like the 13th seed. AD carried them boys. Every single player on the team, he carried them, picked them up, put them on his back. No wonder why he has back problems. He done carried the team for the past two to three seasons. He stretches the floor better than Tim Duncan and Kevin Garnett. He plays, he's the most, um, what's it called? He's the most versatile defender at the four position. More versatile than Draymond Green. More versatile than um, Jaron Jackson Jr. Most versatile defender at the four position in NBA history, bro. One of the most athletic players. Like, come on, he's the best power forward ever. He has better handles than Tim Duncan. He has a better jump shot than Tim Duncan. He's more versatile defensively than Tim Duncan. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. He averages more points than Tim Duncan. He gets more boards. I don't even know if he gets more boards. But I feel like he does. I mean, both of them get a lot of rebounds, so that's kind of a null point. Step back, Fiji. What? Like, Tim Duncan can't do that. Kevin Garnett was not doing step back threes, dude. Y'all don't understand, man. AD, talk to him. AD, talk to him. Show him why you're Anthony Davis. Look at that pass. <clears throat> Carrying LeBron. Carrying LeBron. 77 to 82. 83, 87. Just feed AD and get out the way. Just feed AD and get out the way. Rui, Hachi, Fiji, water. <laughs> Rui Hachimura. Rui Hachimura. Come on, man. You see, as soon as they take AD out the game, Malik Monk got a super highway to the basket. Everybody eating in the paint. You think Jackson Hayes can replace Anthony Davis's production? They need to put AD back in the game, bro. They're going to lose the lead. They already lost the lead. Fiji, water, got it right back, though. <laughs> got it right back, though. I like that. I like that. Let's get it, Rui. 91-90. Look at AD being a supportive teammate. 
Anthony Davis got to be the most unselfish player ever, bro. Or not, I don't want to say the most unselfish, but like one of the best teammates ever. Because he's like, oh my gosh, Anthony Davis got to be such a good teammate. I couldn't do it. I, me personally. I would let LeBron know I'm carrying you. <laughs> I would let LeBron know, hey, bro, I'm carrying you, bro. I'm carrying. Anyway, let's play this defense. Yeah, De'Aaron Fox. Let's get it. This is why you need AD in the game, bro. Y'all can't. Oh, he was in the game. Never mind. Just feed AD in the low post. Sabonis can't guard Anthony David. LeBron, three? Hey, he made it. He made it. That's low-key a bad shot because LeBron can't shoot. But he made it, so I'll take it. He's making it, so I'm going to take it. De'Aaron Fox, Fiji Water. Yeah, De'Aaron Fox, that's clutch player of the year, man. That boy clutched. <laughs> that boy clutched. That's clutch player of the year, man. De'Aaron Fox is one of the more underrated players, too, man. De'Aaron Fox deserves his respect, too, but this video not about De'Aaron. De'Aaron Fox, he still gets more respect than AD. De'Aaron Fox doesn't get any hate. How are you going to hate somebody that plays for the Sacramento Kings? It doesn't make any sense. All these, come on, bro. All these players on the Lakers get hated on. Like, De'Aaron Fox is on the Lakers, and he'd be getting hated on, too, and I had to stand up for De'Aaron Fox. But he's just on the Kings, chilling, doing his own thing. People in Sacramento, I know they got to be so grateful for De'Aaron Fox, bro. De'Aaron Fox, low-key the best Sacramento King. That might be the end of the sentence. <laughs> I was about to say the best Sacramento King since Chris Webber, but then I, I started thinking about it. I'm like, hey, that might be the end of the sentence. I don't even think the Sacramento Kings. Uh, Sacramento, who y'all think, who y'all like more, De'Aaron or Boogie? Boogie might have been better individually, but Boogie wasn't carrying the team like De'Aaron Fox is. The Lakers about to lose. Somebody got to hit a three. D-Lo, ice in the veins. Ice in the veins. Fiji, water. Ice in the veins, D-Lo. Ice in the veins, D-Lo. Talk to me, D-Lo. Talk to me, D-Lo. The time is now. The time is now. Torian, oh, if Torian Prince is about to. Boy, if Torian Prince would have. That's why Anthony Davis the goal. I thought Torian Prince was about to smack that three from limitless range. Get the ball to 80. I do not trust LeBron. Get the ball to 80. LeBron is not clutch. LeBron, LeBron. Beautiful, beautiful play by Anthony Davis. Beautiful play by Anthony Davis. I know, I know y'all like, oh, beautiful play by Anthony Davis. Look at this illegal screen, bro. Look at the way Anthony Davis leverages his body to get LeBron some separation. Shout out to LeBron for taking it to the paint because, you know, back earlier in his career, his Cleveland days. Oh, thank God. Back earlier in his career, in his Cleveland days, LeBron used to be scared to take it to the paint with the game on the line. Because um, he was scared to get fouled and have to shoot free throws. I think he admitted that. If he didn't admit it, it it's kind of well known. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or maybe maybe I heard it from Skip Bayless and I just held on to it. I don't know, baby. <laughs> it's one of the two. <laughs> Either it's just hater talk that I just held on to for some reason or it's well known facts. Flutter game. Let's get an AD. Boy, AD is so nice, man. Y'all going to appreciate Anthony Davis for real. I wish Anthony Davis was on Sacramento a little bit. Well, I like Anthony Davis on the Lakers, but I feel like Anthony Davis with Sacramento's pieces, that team would be so good, bro. Like, instead of DeMontis, Fiji, Water. Oh, put some respect on D-Lo's name, too. Oh, yeah, D-Lo be getting disrespected on the Lakers, too. Y'all got to stop doing that, man. I promise you. Every time LeBron has teammates, y'all don't have to disrespect them. It's the LeBron. I think it's the LeBron fans, bro. Because I see D-Lo getting disrespected. People are showing clips of him airballing and saying he's not the same player and this and that. Like, dude, everybody makes mistakes. Y'all got to let D-Lo rock. I mean, D-Lo been an all-star. We know who D-Lo was. He's going to give you 18 to 19 points per game, give you about six to about six to seven assists, six to seven assists, and do that. Anthony Davis still putting up about the same numbers he was. In New Orleans, D-Lo put about the same numbers he did in Minnesota. But now y'all want to complain. But y'all were hype when you got him. It makes no sense to me. Red Velvet. Yeah, that's the game. Yeah, I, I already know. I'm a Hawks fan. I know Red Velvet doesn't miss. I still don't know for the life of me why we got rid of Red Velvet, bro. Trey Young and Red Velvet was a legendary backcourt, man. They were a legendary duo that doesn't get talked about enough. D-Lo, you should have shot that. I don't know why you passed it back to Braun. Braun getting all his points in overtime, huh? He getting all his points in overtime, huh? Them boys getting a standing ovation. See, that's what love is, man. I wish Anthony Davis got a standing ovation. I feel like all the Lakers fans hate him. I feel bad for Anthony Davis. That boy a first-team All-NBA talent. That boy top five, top ten NBA player talent. 
and gets disrespected on the daily, man. Y'all gotta show AD some love, bro. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. So what you guys thought about this down below? I'm out. Peace, stay breezy.